Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last two videos we have learned how to use element function p and e inside set modifier. Today we will continue the same topic but in today's video we will see bit more complex examples using p and e. We are going to use p and e both in a single expression. I am going to use the same application here. So the very first example I am going to cover is say we want to find out customers who purchase product laptop. So this is what we have covered in last few examples. So I am going to copy paste this one here. I am not going to write this expression again. So this is just a copy paste and I will simplify this expression. So this is how I am writing all set expression. So it will easy to understand. So it will give me 3 because A, B and C purchase laptop and if we want to find out name of those customers using the concatenate function then I will use this. Again I will simplify this expression by proper indentation and the third one here is we will find out sales of all the customers who purchase product laptop and here we are going to get the sales for across all the years and sales for the current year or maximum year is this. So here we have two set modifier and this is what we are getting here and the same I am going to use for the previous year and here I will say max year minus 1. I am keep saying that current year and max year so don't get confused between them. The current year means the year in which you are using this expression. So right now the current year is 2022. But max year means the maximum year from your database. Sometimes you are working on purchase application and you have future orders in your application. So say you have future orders for 2023, 2024, 2025. So in that case your max year will be work accordingly. But right now in my application I have sales data and I have data up to 2022. So for me current year and max year both are same. If I want static data for current year means I don't want sales based on the year selection. So here when I'm selecting 2021, I'm getting data for max year as 2021. But if even though year selection, I want, I still want data for current year means 2022, then I can use instead of max year, I can use year of today. So I will give you something here. So you will understand what I mean to say. So mostly I am using max year. So max year is your 2020 to and if I will use instead of max year if I will use year of today then I will get 2022 again. So what is the difference be between these two? So if I will select here 2020, I will get 2020 as a max year because this max year is aggregation function and it will depends on your year selection. But here we are getting till 2022 because it is year of today's date. What will happen if I will select 2019, 2020 and 2021? So out of these three, what is your max year? 2021. But here it is 2022. So let's move ahead with our current topic. So my first requirement is I want to find out number of customers, name of those customers, sales of those customers for all the years, for current year or selected year and for the previous year. For those customers who purchase both the products, laptop and mobile. Try to understand. The question is customers who purchase both the product laptop and mobile. So we have expression something like this. So this will give you 
number of customers who purchase product laptop so if i will add here mobile what is going to happen i am going to get four here now let's consider which are the customers who have purchased both the products laptop and mobile so i am selecting laptop and mobile both here and now let's see you can see that laptop is only purchased by three customers and mobile is purchased by four customers i am getting answer as four here but actually the answer should be three because a b and c these three customers have purchased laptop and mobile both but d even though d purchase mobile d never purchase laptop so let's make this example more granular i can say i want to find out customers who purchase laptop and mobile both for current year or year 2022 or the maximum year that means i have to add another set modifier here and i will say and i will say year equal to i will use dollar sign expansion here instead of dynamic instead of mentioning 2022 i will say max of my year so now you can see at the bottom year equal to 2022 and i will apply this one and still we are getting four so for the 2022 laptop is purchased by three customer mobile is also purchased by three customer so which are the common customer who purchase laptop and mobile both so answer is two customers customer a and customer c customer d haven purchased laptop for year 2022 and customer b haven purchased mobile for year 2022 so the answer should be here two so what exactly happening here as we learn in the first part of element function p and e how this set modifier works whenever you mention more than one modifier they are creating and condition how so the and condition created here is year equal to 2022 and product equal to mobile or year equal to 2022 and product equal to laptop so for year 2022 we are getting answer for both product mobile and laptop using the or condition but actually what our requirement is we need year 2022 product equal to mobile and product equal to laptop this is what we want actually so let's see how we can do this so in this case we directly cannot use product equal to mobile as second field value but instead of that we have to create two different set of customer p customer there is one thing i forgot to mention we are writing here customer equal to p customer and sometimes if we want to exclude we are writing customer equal to e customer and here we are writing our set expression but you don't have to write this customer so you can directly write customer equal to p and customer equal to e so i can remove this customer here and i have to create two different set so because of that you have to write this two set inside this angular bracket copy this one and use the intersection so intersection will create an condition here so how this will work so we will say here mobile means customer who purchase laptop for 2022 and customer who purchase mobile 
So combination of these two will give you answer as 2. So what I will do, I will copy this set expression and this set I will mention here and now I will get A and C. So you can see now A and C are the right answer because B and D should not be part of this set. And if I want to have sales of those A and C, then I can write something this, something like this. So the value is 210 for the current selection. Right now we, are, we have selected laptop and mobile. So the sales of A and C for laptop and mobile, A and C for laptop and mobile is 210 for the selected year because the outer set expression, outer set is still considering the selections. So I will remove all the selections and still I am getting A and C and the total is 1134. So the total of A and C should be 1134 across all the years. But for 2022 and 2021, we will copy the same set expression here. So this will give me sum of sales for entire year, but I have to find out sum of sales for the current year only. So what I can do here is I will use this set expression as an outer set expression. If you haven't gone through with the outer set expression videos, you can check my previous videos. And we are getting 433 as the right answer and we should get 320 here. So I will copy this expression and the same expression I am going to use here and instead of my max year, I will use max year minus 1, it will give me 2021 and now I am getting answer as 320 which is what we want. Again, as per the previous video, if you want to ignore the selections then you can use 1 here for the inner set expression. Now say my requirement is I want to find out sales and customers. So if you select laptop here, so you can see A, B and C purchased laptop for the 2022, but A and B never purchased laptop 2021. My question is customer who purchased laptop in 2022. So the answer is A, B and C, but not purchased laptop in 2021 means A and B. So C has purchased laptop, but I want to find out customer who haven't purchased laptop in 2021. So how I can write this? So simply, I have to write purchase laptop for the current year, but not purchase laptop, not purchase laptop for the previous year. So we are getting answer as 2 and the answer 2 belongs to A and B. So now what I will do, I will copy this set and I am going to use this set here and we will get A and B. So let us see A and B is part of our required set. And now if I will mention the same here. I will get the sales of A and B. So this 268 is sales of A and B for selected product laptop because here we haven't mentioned one. So if I will select A and B then we are getting total sales 268 which is what we are getting in the KPI. So hope we have now good examples to clear all your doubts on element functions P and E inside set expression. Thanks and have a great day.